my Yarny friends, my name is Crystal and I'm on here tonight to let you know that my gnome pattern is done. Yay! It's on Etsy. It's available to be purchased. This is my, the first gnome I made and he is with a four weight yarn and for his beard I used faux fiber. And, um, and then pushed it in around his nose with a felting tool. So this pattern is available and it is you, um, it tells you because it's different, a little bit different for a four weight for the arms and for the nose um, than the five weight yarn. This one right here is 13.5 inches tall from the bottom here to the tippy top here. Um, the, this, the hat right here is uh, more of an intermediate level crocheter, but I still, there's lots of pictures and if you take it slow, step by step, row by row, I think that um, you could do it if you're um, maybe an advanced beginner. And this uses, uses the invisible, um, join method and you can't see where I joined really. I think maybe, maybe it's right there, but the self striping one, you can see the join beca more because the lines don't line up and that's the only reason why. So let me show you, I have not shown you how big the five weight one turned out. I still have one end to weave in. <laughs> um, well, shoot, let me pick him up. He's huge. <laughs> He's 18 inches tall. <laughs> let me see. It's going to be, let's see the difference. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is the size difference using a four weight and a five bulky. Now I decided on him to leave the beard long like this because my husband loved it. And this, um, I'm not a fan of taking yarn and brushing it out, especially a gigantic beard like this. I think um, homespun yarn works well. This is a different type of yarn that I had got it's an older yarn. I don't remember the name of it. I don't think it's still available, but oh, I'm going to lose him. So, um, how adorable is that? There's my, <laughs> it was from making this curve a little bit tighter. So isn't he adorable? I just love him and he's huge. So this pattern, it doesn't have to be a Christmas gnome. It can be any colors you want it to be. So I'm very, very excited. Um, well, it probably won't fit right there. And I'm sure I probably will get asked. I don't know the pattern of the hat I'm wearing, but I will find it and I will link it in the description box below. It was one of the first hats that I had ever made. And, um, oh, duh. I want to give a shout out and a thank you to all my testers. And I want to show you pictures of what they made. My brain's not working too well, guys. <laughs> I'm going to go into the order of who's, um, who was finished first. That just seems right. <laughs> so the first tester um, that finished, and I'm going to put a picture of her gnome right here. And it was Pamela at a Pamela's Adoring Crochet on YouTube. If you guys don't know who she is, she's amazing. She, um, she has so many tutorials, a lot of them, and she does, um, tutorials on babe, not baby, um, dolls, different doll outfits. I love that. I want to get my granddaughters a doll and make some of her outfits, but she has hats and sweaters and scarves. And she had like a year long crochet along for doing, um, um, towels, the towel toppers and stuff. And she has like a Christmas hat, uh, she patterned a tutorial, stockings, all kind of neat stuff. I love watching her channel. She has a lot of fantastic ideas that I really want to do. If I was healthier, I'd be just right there with her because I love 
what she does like for her family you know she gave them all um, slipper socks and she has a tutorial for that so her channel will be linked in the description box below and didn't her gnome turn out super cute thank you so much Pamela for testing my gnome my second person to finish was Ella at No Catchy Name. And this is her adorable gnome. Thank you so much, Ella. And if you don't know who she is, she has a YouTube channel called No Catchy Name. She is a young mom. She's pregnant with her second child. It's exciting to watch her crochet, to see her ideas, to see Jessie, her youngest, grow up. I cannot wait to see June, her daughter. She's, it's just fun to watch. And um, she makes a lot of bags for sale and they go like that because they're so amazing. So I will link her channel in the description box below. Thank you so much, Ella, for testing my pattern for me. The third person to finish it, um, she's on my Facebook group and I'm sure she is um, a Yarny friend. I subscribe to my channel. Her name is Michelle, and this is her adorable gnome, and I really appreciate you testing my pattern. You did a great job. I love it. It's so cute, and the beard. I just love that yarn that you used. Oh, if you could tell us what the yarn was um, in a comment below, that would be fantastic. My fourth person, I, um... I don't know if she will get a picture in by the time I have this up, but her name is Nancy, and she's a yarny friend here on YouTube. She's the one that sent me the um, wash rags for my daughter-in-law for her wedding, for the um, bride's gifts. She's just been a lot of support. She just gives me a lot of love. She supports me so well, and she tested this pattern, and she's so close to being done, but I had to do this video, so if I don't get it up now, I will have it in a future vlog, because she's almost done. <laughs> and somebody else who um, was testing it, who is an amazing tester, um, but life happened, something happened to where she couldn't finish it, and her name is Crystal, and she has a YouTube channel called Ricola's Crochet Corner, and I'm going to link her in the description box below. I highly suggest that you go over there, subscribe, and um, eventually you'll get to see her uh, Sir Guards a lot. Did I even say the name? <laughs> I don't know if I did, but the pattern, this is, he sir guards a lot. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, if you're still here, I was going to say in the beginning, but my brain isn't the best. The reason why I named him sir guards a lot is I was trying to think of a name and I looked up gnomes, gnomes and how they originated and they were um, originally made to guard gardens. So he's, he, he, he was for guarding, and so I figured he guards a lot, right, because he's out there 24-7. <laughs> so that's how I came up with his name. Don't you love gnomes? <laughs> so, um, yeah, Sir guards a lot. I'm super duper excited. My next pattern has to be a dog because I really want to make um, a yarny friend a dog, and... But the gnome just popped in my brain. <laughs> and um, I wanted to tell you, just in case you're still here and you're looking at my hat, um, it kind of pulled in the back right here. But my first one I ever made didn't pull, pull like that. And I used Maypole, this yarn right here. And not in this color, but don't you love this color? Wowzers, what color is this? This is color 29. I knit it, so I, my first hat I made, I loved it. And it was this exact p pattern, but in blues and purples. So I made this hat, really, really liked it. And then I decided to knit with this yarn and I hated it. It hurt my fingers. So I like it for this crochet pattern, but I, have, I don't like it for knitting. Isn't that weird? And they have different sizes in this maple yarn right here. And I think it's more of a clearance yarn. But it's not, it doesn't feel rough when you touch it. 
but when you work with it, it feels, I, it's odd. I don't know how to explain this one. Like when you like pet it, <laughs> it feels smooth, but, um, but working with it, it kind of roughs up your fingers. So, oh, and what it is acrylic, I'm sure. No, oh, I'm not sure. I just lied. It's polyester, 100% polyester. So I hope I remembered everything. Oh, it, so the pattern is on my Etsy shop. I didn't even say that. It's $2.50. Um, I don't know. I hope I remembered everything else, but you will see it if you cl click uh, um, in the description box. I better get going. I hope you guys are all doing well. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.